How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you some really simple ways that you can take the pentatonic scale and like turn it into licks. So right now Guitar Control is giving away this really awesome uh, daily practice routine to improve your lead guitar chops. This was put together by our very own Silvio Gazquez, a two-time uh, guitar idol finalist. This routine covers the four main concepts that are uh, necessary for lead guitar. Alternate picking, legato, sweet picking, and tapping. All the tabs and exercises are all included in this free ebook. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can get yours. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. All right, so all the examples I'm doing in the key of B, the only reason is is just because it's kind of a neutral place. So if uh, if you're more of kind of a beginner, this is just kind of a more of a neutral place for your hand. Down here, the frets are further apart, your arms in kind of a weird angle, and then up here, you know, the frets are really close together and your body's kind of in the way. So this is just kind of a good starting point to get going with these. So all of this is just based out of the E minor pentatonic, or the, excuse me, the B minor pentatonic scale. So I'm starting here on the seventh fret of the low E string with my first finger, and then to the 10th fret with my pinky, then to the seventh fret on the A string, ninth fret, 7-9 on the D, 7-9 uh, on the G string, 7-10 uh, on the B string, and then 7-10 on the high E. All right, so if you've, if you've tried to like, you know, improvising, you know, like over a backing track and you're just playing the scale up and down, the notes are, sound good because they're in key, but it doesn't really sound, it's not really musical sounding, it's not really like a lick. So, um, kind of a simple rule of thumb is just don't have like a ton of, you know, sequential notes in a row. So if you're just, you know, going, it's not really all that musical. But if we break that up, so we like to do a pattern like this, where we're just playing six notes. Now we're going to start on the A string and do six notes. Now on the D string, and then the G string. So that already sounds more musical than you know just playing straight up the scale. Now you wouldn't necessarily do that all the way up. It might be something just a short burst that you do to maybe connect it, uh, licks together. So. Uh, what I kind of like to do with stuff like this is I don't like to start at the very bottom. I like to kind of play on these, you know, like on the, the D and the G string and the B string, kind of in that area, the A string too. Uh, so a simple way that you can kind of practice this to, to build up your speed is to start on the A string. So that way you're just going 7, 9, 7, 9 on the D string and then 7, 9 on the G string. So if we take that, you know, we just practice doing that. And here I'm, I'm hammer doing hammer on. So I'm pick hammer, pick hammer, pick hammer. Now you can pick all of it. I just like the way it sounds with the hammer on. All right, so you can start that off even simpler and just work on just two strings. So if we take that and we add in the third string. So now we have another sequence. Now you could do that as a repeating pattern all the way across. All right, so when you play something like that, you get a little bit of speed on it. It actually sound, you know, it's, it can sound pretty cool. But again, it doesn't need to be this big long thing. You can have a lot of, a lot of repeating uh, notes. I'm starting on the A string, to the D string, to the G string, and then back to the D string, and then back to the G string. So 
So you can do that on any of the strings. You could have it be a pattern that goes uh, you know, across all of the strings. <laughs> So there's all different kinds of things that you can do with that. If you, you know, just think small, take just a small sequence of notes and then just look at the pattern and repeat it. So now let's look at some uh, descending uh, versions. So one with this, you can play six notes and now you start on the B string and repeat it. So again, you, went, you may not necessarily want to go, you know, do the entire sequence. You could just use part of it. Now, up there. I'm connecting kind of like the previous idea we had on the ascending one with the descending. Okay, so another uh, cool descending one is we're going to play uh, four notes. So I'm starting on the high E. Now we're just going to repeat that pattern, now starting on the B string. Now again, you could just use part of that and have it, you know, connect into something else. All right, so if you combine some of those ideas together, we can start here, we can ascend. So I ascend six notes. Now I go to the next string and I descend six notes. Now we're going to do the same thing. Now we're just going to start on the A string. Now starting on the D string. Now, everything that we've done are all movable, so it's in B because we're starting here on B, but if we wanted to do it in E, you can just move it around to anywhere, uh, anywhere you want. All right, so there you have it, some uh, little ideas to make your pentatonic scale sound uh, more musical. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. Uh, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.